Hi guys, it's Tuesday and I have a layout to share with you. This is actually a layout that was back in my stack of layouts that I had done videos on and yet for some reason did not make it on my list to edit and upload. So, a couple of hidden layouts that I have found and I do want to make sure that I share those and don't miss out on any of them. This is a little different color scheme for me and this is a picture of my father years and years ago. This was back in the 80s when he lived pretty close to where I live right now actually. And so I did pull the die cuts with a view gilded paper for that background piece and I also pulled from the Simple Stories my uh, by Jen Hadfield and that is the homemade line and the reason I pick these colors is basically I like to match my photo to the scrapbook background and elements and so I thought this collection went very well with the picture from the 80s not the greatest picture but I don't have a ton of pictures of my father and so it's a very important picture to me and it reminds me of when I would go visit him and the home that he lived in and Christmas time and that's why we scrapbook right because we don't want to forget and we always want to cherish those memories and that's exactly what I feel like I've done with this photo so using a little bit of my distress ink in broken china to go around the edges since it is kind of a vintage feel layout I thought I would do that on this page. I just layered up the background of the photo like I do. This cut apart, I have no idea where it came from. <laughs> I want to say it was a Wilna Furstenberg file that I cut out in black cardstock. And I may be guessing there, but it reminds me of her. And I do recall cutting out some black cardstock when I was taking one of her Okay, so slight interruption. My daughter came home from work, and so I am back to the layout. So this is a set of just tags and scraps that I had in my stash. There's some gold photo corners that I have had in my stash forever, and I believe they are recollections. And then... I am just going to add some of those little cut aparts from Simple Stories. And I'm just going to build my little background. I love to embellish. Oh, these are some really old, they're a pressed board, and I used to do a lot of metal art, and I would incorporate wood that was like pressed wood shapes into some of my metal art when I would basically just make a frame or some sort of collage. But I had them in my stash and they've just been sitting there for probably 10 years and I decided even though they're kind of thick, I would go ahead and use them on a layout. And so that's what the triangles are that you see. I did fussy cut out that little flower and I'm adding some wood veneer around the page. I think the wood veneer is probably Studio Calico. And now these arrows are from the Cedar Lane collection from Pink Paisley. It took me forever to get my hands on those, but I just think they're adorable. And I did go ahead and glue them down and then weighed them down with some acrylic blocks. This is really old. I'm pulling in. This is the Cosmo Cricut Tiny Text and it's kind of a cream base, so I think it went very well with this layout. It says, tell your story and love, and you and me, because I think I'm the one that took that picture, if I'm not mistaken. The one at the top says inspire, and the one that I'm gonna add at that bottom area in the center is celebrate simplicity. My dad was a pretty simple guy. It took him a lot to get upset or angry. He was pretty appreciative for his life, and he came from humble beginnings and made something of himself, so 
He was just an easy peasy laid back kind of guy. The heart sticker is pretty old. Um, trying to remember, I think that's uh, it's the vintage collage collection that you can get at Recollections, and it just has a little camera on it. And now I'm adding a bit of Heidi Swap Color Shine in bronzer, and I think that's going to finish it up. Of course, I'll end up doing my journaling on the back and talk about my dad and I'm just writing there my dad 1980s and that's just an old tag that I had in my stash so that's it like I said not really my traditional color scheme but I like the way it turned out and I love that I'm recording memories of my dad and I hope that it inspires you in some way it has been a wonderful weekend here. I spent most of the day on the lake yesterday, and now I'm just working on Illustrator and Photoshop and kind of figuring out if I want to do Photoshop or Lightroom. And I did a bunch of food prep and a little bit of gardening, a little bit of house cleaning. So it's been a good weekend. I hope it's been a good weekend for you too. So at the end is information on my social media Feel free to find me, and if you like this video, please thumbs up. I'll talk to you soon. Ta-ta for now. Bye.